On January 22, 1912, Henry Morrison Flagler fulfilled a dream he'd been pursuing for decades. He rode his own iron into Key West. Flagler was 82 years old and almost blind, but he had made it. Henry Flagler was used to the world taking notice of his accomplishments, but even he was overcome by the greeting he received when his private rail car pulled into the station at Key West that morning. There were businessmen and politicians from across the state, foreign dignitaries from throughout the Caribbean and Latin America, and more than 10,000 people from the island, all on hand to cheer Flagler and his first train from the mainland. The old man was truly touched. In speeches and at celebrations that lasted a week, he was praised to the skies. He alone had done what no one else had been able to do. He'd taken on America's last frontier and pushed it back as far as you could go. It's now been a century since Henry Flagler linked the state of Florida end to end with his railroad and chain of luxury hotels. What was then, in many places, waterlogged, bug-infested wilderness is now home to 19 million people, most of whom live in cities and towns that didn't even exist when Flagler was alive. The story of the century Flagler launched is the story of this stunning transformation. During this time, no state in the country changed more quickly, more dramatically, or came to symbolize the American dream in the way Florida did. And now, a hundred years down the line, it's a story that has all of a sudden taken a turn in an uncertain direction. Thank you.